where it is natural for everyone to wear animal costume heads. It depicts an everyday life of the main character, Milpom. Milpom? Milpom? Milpom. And that, like, that's all I, unless I... Like, it's so poorly structured. Um, it's like a guy who's never met teenagers was like, this is how teenage girls act. I know because I watched them from the park. I mean, it's Japan. Chances are that's true. I don't think about that. I mean, it, I'm just saying. Hi, everyone. By the way, I hit record a while ago. I, I figured as much, which is why I kept going on with the synopsis. It's, it's almost like I... Of Mill Pond. It's almost like I sat in position in front of the microphone, and it was the cue that I have hit record. And I just kept going. That's good. Well, I, I wanted to talk about it anyway. Watch Mill Palm. It's bizarre. I mean, if you want... It's like a bad Japanese robot chicken. <sighs> Not... That's... I mean, it's robot chicken in that it's cheap stop motion, but nothing else. Yeah. Well, I mean... Fuck. The first episode, Duncan and I were literally speechless. We just sat there and didn't even look at each other, just... Completely fixed on Slack the screen. jawed, just going, what are we watching? So, it, I mean, it, it's, they're five-minute episodes. Like, watch the first one and just be baffled. And then seeing how short it is, I'll, I might finish it later. Yeah. No cat. Maya. Maya, stop. Stop it's, being a butt. It's fine. As long as she's... I don't really care. Yeah. The computer falls a sign from God. <laughs> so, so how? Welcome you been? to the Power Moose Podcast. This is episode what? Ooh, I, I meant to check. I meant to check when our last upload was, and I didn't do either of those things. <laughs> well, let, let's quickly find out. Oh, hey, a video just uploaded because I learned how to schedule things the other day. Now I don't have to pay attention anymore. <laughs> I can just upload everything at once and tell them when to go up, and now I don't do work. Oh, we actually had a podcast last week? Did we? That can't be true. No, we didn't have one last week. Oh, no. Because it, last it went week up, was... It went up on a different day, which is why it still says a week ago, but in two days it'll say two weeks ago. Yeah. That's why. I was like, we didn't do one last week. You weren't here last week. No, I was you? here. No, I wasn't here. Well, I, I was. I was busy, and you were I was at also, Halcon. was also busy. Uh, so let's start with Halcon first, because... Halcon was fine. Halcon was fine. Halcon was b by... It hit the textbook anime convention. Okay. It, it... You know... I haven't been to one in a while, so it was... I mean, it is... As far as total square footage... Miles larger than the next size one I've been to. I was going to say, the only other convention I've ever been to, the only two conventions, are uh, <coughs> The Eyes of March, which was a board game convention in St. John. Oh, jeez. And uh, the one they have usually Remembrance Day weekend. I can't remember what it's called, though. Remembrance Day. Okay. Well, anyway. The it, Remembrance Day anime convention. When we remember all the fallen Japanese soldiers of World War II. <laughs> so scale-wise, it's much bigger. Yes, it was multiple floors of the training convention center. It uh, the the vendors was like the entire hockey arena. Yeah, which is a you know it's a re bunch regulation work. size hockey arena, so it's pretty big. Yeah, a bunch of our coworkers. Yeah, our vendors there. I bought a bunch of shit that. Uh, let's be honest. If anyone knows me and has for some reason been in my apartment, knows I'm notorious for buying art and never hanging it up. Uh, well, that's so... because your roommate doesn't let you hang it up. Well, no, even when I lived alone, that, that Batman thing that I bought my first week in the city has never gone up. Jesus. Even when I lived alone. Okay. Uh, I, ju I just don't put up art. I appreciate it and go, neat. So did you go to any panels? No, uh, did I? Yeah, I went to a Supernatural panel. 
which while I haven't watched the show in years, they're still celebrities I recognize at least. I mean, it didn't have... Uh, I don't remember their names. Jared Padalecki and... Jensen Eccles. The main character. Yeah. It had... Uh, What's... I don't know the character. I don't even remember his name. Well, his real name. In the show, it's Bobby Singer. Because he's named after the creator. So yeah. I, I can remember it. But... Yeah. Jim Beaver. That's right. Uh, and some other guy who was also from the show who was on it for like three episodes. So no one really cared. It, it was... Uh, it was funny. Who would have thought that celebrities that get paid to go and talk to fans are like... Mildly entertaining. Then, uh, that was the only panel. That was say. it? Yep. They're, they're, well, okay. The rest of the hours were spent buying things. Myself, or with people buying things. And that was, uh... Did anyone buy anything out of the ordinary? Body pillow? I looked at one. You looked at one? What was it? They were all pretty tame. Really? Saw nothing lewd. The entire floor. Like, the body pillows were definitely body pillows. Yeah. But they were clothed. Did they have any of those uh, VR porn games on display? No, but for whatever reason that did jog my memory, that I went to what I'm going to call the next closest thing, a LARPing demonstration. Oh? Oh. Which I assume LARPing and VR porn have the same market share. <laughs> uh, boy, it was... Uh, well, I think I sent you and Brandon a message while I was watching it. And, like, it was okay. But what hurt was I know they thought they looked cool. Which they didn't. Like, I'm sure it's fun. I won't knock them for that. I bet I would also have fun. But to think you're cool... To be like, yeah, I have a sword. I bet girls think I'm real hot. No. There was a reason why there was literally no girl there. Other than my girlfriend who was, like, entertained to the point where I'm like, I might have to LARP soon. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, I, I would try it. I don't think I would enjoy it enough. It's too... It's too much of a time sink yeah. for me to actually enjoy full time but if it was like um, I know there's LARPing around here somewhere oh yeah there's if they did a like hey a newcomer's weekend like come for a day or whatever yeah fuck it why not I'd go for a day or even a weekend if they were doing like a special event thing be a fun one weekend thing and then never do it again and then there was this shitty escape room that took it quite literally it was a little it was a tent escape the tent escape the tent at least hold on i'm just gonna pull the zipper no exactly I've, now i've done like real escape rooms i don't know why i'm doing air quotes you can't see them but ha have you done an escape room? i've never done an escape okay room. well at least there they lock the fucking door so there's the illusion that you can't get out it's hard to feel... It's a tent! Yeah, it... Just, no, all, just... Here's what you do. You just... You don't even unzip it. Just keep walking. It wasn't even like a real... It wasn't even like a real camping tent. It was, Drag the tent with you. It, it was like one of those medieval tents, so there was no floor. So like every now and then, there was people walking around outside, and I could just see little furry hooves or whatever just sticking out of the bottom of the tent, because there's, there's nothing connecting the walls to the floor. So it was... Immersion level zero. Dead zero. Now, that being said, the puzzles were like that perfect level of hard where they were pretty easy to figure out, but like it took you a second. So it wasn't a total breeze, but it was pretty doable. And it was designed for you to beat in ten minutes. Okay. Because there's a lot of people. We played with a mom. That was weird. That sentence came out pretty a little weird. Did it? Did it, Doug? <laughs> what was she up to? Ah, uh, she she was there. What I gather is she was there with her son and his 
I'll say girlfriend. Could have been sister. I don't know. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe both. It's the Maritimes. Probably. Progressive place. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Is that next? What? I mean, I, I know we're... I'm, I'm jumping a gun because we're not quite at what everyone would universally agree as equality. But is incest rights next? Because I, I don't think that's... I don't think that's a stretch. I don't think incest... Like, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Like, I can imagine someone trying and then just being run out of whatever political office they... Or whatever meeting... Okay, if they passed a law that just said the government isn't allowed in your bedroom, which basically means anything done in your bedroom between two consenting people is totally legal, can I call this a win for incest? I should openly state I have no family members that I would like to have sexual intercourse with other than that one second cousin I met once. <laughs> God damn it, Colin. I, I don't even know who her parents are. I'm not sure how she's related to me. But she was at a family event. Once. And you haven't seen her since? No. Which tells me it's distant. Because it was a big event. It was like <sighs> my grandfather turned 80 or something. You know, where everyone comes. Yeah. And you're just like, I don't know any of you people. You're not going to be in my life that long. Just leave. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, 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 yep, I was sexually assaulted this morning, and by this morning, I mean this afternoon, and by this afternoon, I mean on the way here. <laughs> what? Yeah, there, there was a... Was it Sylvester the cat again? No. Because I'll tell you this. 11 years ago. No, wait. Nine years ago. Yes, nine years ago. My first time ever in Halifax by myself. A bunch of my friends. We all come down to have a good time in Halifax. Which basically consisted of going to see Beowulf in IMAX. Okay. Better things you could do here. And we were walking down Spring Garden, and the uh, chocolate place that's right across from uh, from Shoppers Drug Mart. Okay. Like across. I don't know why it took me long to think. It's the only chocolate place downtown. You got the CIBC Bank. You got the chocolate place. You got the sunglasses. You got that rickety old rundown house, and then you've got like uh, Timmy's. Mm -hmm. Um, During that stretch, there was just some person in a Sylvester the Cat suit. And then someone else video recording. He was just touching people. And um, my group of friends are walking along. And we get to about where Timmy's is. And all of a sudden, I just feel this big three... It's just pawed hand. Like, all three paws just reach between my legs and grab my the, junk. The, the grundle? The whole thing! (laughs) And I have never jumped and run, like, I, it lifted me off the ground. Like, I was just like, pop off the ground and just skitter like a crab. See, see, mine uh, took me minutes to register. Uh, Because I, on the way here, experienced the most sexual assault I've ever experienced (laughs) in my life, which is... One, and okay. witnessed the most sexual assault I've ever seen, which was a dozen by the same person. <laughs> what? There, there, there was a woman in front of me, and, and a and a and a man, and uh, they weren't originally in front of me, which is how this assault happened, and how it took me a second. They, they, I was sitting at a, a crosslight waiting to cross the street. Yeah, and I, I feel someone bump into me which is like normal yeah that happens all the time but then like i was like no that was clearly like a little more purposeful because normally when i actually don't get bumped into i don't feel a pinky up my rump <laughs> jesus 
And but I was just like, huh, that was that was odd. Just and just thought nothing of it. Just finger blasting you in the middle of the street. In front of the library. Oh, the children. <laughs> and then I saw this couple keep walking, and then she proceeded to grab every single person she passed. And went like some guys were like, ooh, I've never been touched before. And other people were noticeably what the hell? And then the guy would just be like, oh, man, she just likes butts. And I'm like, I, I feel like I should say something. But the girl kind of looks like she's on meth. And the guy kind of looks like he has a knife. So I was like, I'm just going to let him touch butts. I mean, it's harmless. They're having a good time. I mean, until you get that one... That Middle Eastern man was very startled. <laughs> Jesus. And she was smart, didn't do it to any ladies, knew there would be a problem on her hands. Yeah. Because the guy would immediately get blamed, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, it took me a few seconds longer than usual to get here, because I, uh, once they passed me, my normal walking pace would, I would have naturally passed them again. Did you turn around and immediately go no, to the I, I and just, be like, I need, I need, I need comfort. No, I, I, I was violated. I just slowed down. To the point I, I wouldn't pass them. And I'm glad I did because that's when I got to see her do it a dozen times. Just from the library to Barrington, which is, what, two blocks? Yeah. A dozen times. Jesus. So, so, so that, was my, that was my day. Other than lying to people about work I'm doing. Oh. Well, it's Inktober, you see. Okay. Where you're supposed to do an ink drawing every day. Every day. I thought every that was day. Just the internal kind of. I mean, I mean, you don't have to. It's a. It's a it, they're self-imposed rules. Yeah. But you're supposed to. In the spirit of it. I mean, the real spirit is just to get people drawing. Yeah. So you know, you draw anything good. So. I, I've told multiple people I have started. That is a, a bold-faced lie. <laughs> I've done nothing. That being said, day's not even half over. Like, I, I do plan on doing it. Yes. Just, just haven't done it yet. Other than that, same old, same old. You've been playing Kiwami. A lot of Yakuza. I said I'd stream it. Didn't. Just. I've been playing it at weird times. I'm like, eh. But then again, maybe someone will watch me if I'm streaming at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's too much to do in that game. Played Shogi for the first time. And trying to learn the rules of Shogi. <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's chess. Oh, it's not chess. <laughs> it's not chess. Oh, jeez. Uh, they're like, it's, there's pawns and they move one piece at a time, only forward. I was like, okay, got it. Got chess. it, yeah. Chess. Not chess. Very much not chess. It's like chess. It's like... It's like that weird chess that uh, Data had on Star Trek where it's like three different levels. It's like one of those, like, when the Japanese version of a game comes out and it's like... Or it's like that... Chess Alpha EX Cross Tekken. It's it's a mess. All the pieces look identical except for there's writing on them to tell you what piece it is. I don't know if you know this. I don't read kanji, so it means fucking nothing to me. So once the pieces leave their origin, I don't know what the fuck piece it is. And I totally lost. And I, even on beginner difficulty, lost immediately. Jesus. I almost got like four, four move checkmate on beginner for how little I knew what the fuck I was doing. I met the producer of Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. That there, cool. there you go, Internet. I fucking hate that show. I hate the fans. That being said... The fans of anything The memes terrible. going around about the fans really do tickle me. Yeah. The I one mean, the one where the kid stands up in class and says, like, I watch Rick and Morty. Wubba, wubba dub, whatever the fuck. Wubba lubba dub dub. And he goes... And I hear one laugh, and I turn over to see who my fellow genius is, and none other, none other than Albert Einstein himself. 
And that really gets to me. I've read it a hundred times and that still makes me smile. The fans of anything, any fandom, is fucking awful. I think Rick and Morty is a special awful. Because most fans, most, like, toxic fans, think whatever they like is better than everything else. Rick and Morty fans think they are better than everyone else. Not because they like Rick and Morty, because they have an IQ of 200. I saw someone say his IQ is so high, drugs don't affect him. I think that's impossible. I mean, are they, like, morbidly obese and need more drugs for their body to... Because the only way I can figure that drugs wouldn't affect you, normal, human, normal drugs made for regular people, is that you're a morbidly obese person who has a, like, who the drug can be absorbed by the fat a lot more. I mean, it's possible, but he also said he had an IQ of 230. Okay, is this someone we work with? No. If it was, you'd know who it was. I was going to say, <laughs> if this is who I think it is, whose uncle is also a uh, ex-SWAT, some sort of special police officer that did hits on drug lords, Canadian drug lords, and you never heard about it because it was super secret, and you just go in there and fucking hotline Miami, the uh, drug den... Yeah, he's a yeah. He was uh, well while I was uh, sitting at work today. He 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 was there. It was very exciting. Oh, was it? Was it now? Uh, that being said, uh, out of blatant curiosity, I want to take an IQ test. Okay. I don't know how. No. Well, I assume you just try and find a credible one on the internet. Well, yeah, that's the problem. No, yeah, I, I no, know you can take it. You can take an IQ test anyway. Whether it's credible or not is another thing well, entirely. I know, I know the quote-unquote real one is Mensa. Yeah. That's all I know. So I'll have to find that one. Because I, I can't... I think you might have to pay to take it. As long as it's not too much, I might do it out of blatant curiosity. Because I think I figured out this morning as I was walking to work is uh, I think I'm retarded. Oh. I don't think I'm a very smart person. I, I think I... I sort of have the, uh, like, the Mr. Burns disease, them all trying to get through the door at once thing, where, like, I spend a lot of time reading the news. You know a lot, and that gets in I, the way. No, it's not I know a lot. It's I learn a lot, but I learn so many different subjects that I'm not retaining any of it. I couldn't tell you a fucking thing I read all week. That's why I keep notes on my phone. Because I'd forget. I forget constantly. And I think it's that's why, you know, the whole, uh, you know, I don't remember the saying, but, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. Like, I know a tiny bit about everything, which really means I know nothing. What what's that saying that Hanzo has? Learn. You're marked by the enemy. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. It's when he kills some, like, no one, or learn one thing, no thousand, a thousand things. Or, I don't know. It's some sort of Zen. Sure. Bullshit. I I will like. There's a saying, I think, I think it was Bruce Lee. Oh, any martial arts quote I just attribute to Bruce Lee. Yeah. Uh, where he said, I, I don't fear the man with 10,000 kicks. I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. It's, just the same, it's the same thing. Yeah. Which kind is of. why, like, yeah, sure, I could talk circles around Neil deGrasse Tyson on uh, 1990s wrestlers' names, but... Guess what? He's way smarter than me on on basically everything you, else. You, you you get on the topic of uh, white dwarf stars. Who I read his book. He is a much smarter man than me. 
His book was specifically meant for dumb people, and I thought it was a little wordy. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, God. Do you know what's great to see? Our defense minister. Yeah, I noticed you had him Googled, yeah, and I was kind of curious. I had him curious. Googled, and that was because he, Vice had did a piece on him. And in one segment, they're like, do you think you could take on our prime minister? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'd beat the fucking shit out of him. I'm not, I'm not saying I'd beat the shit out of him. He'd give me a nice run for my money. But uh, but I would win. But he's like, yeah, no, I know. New, I, I practice jujitsu, uh, Muay Thai, karate, boxing. I could box circles around him. But there is video footage of our prime minister throwing himself down a flight of stairs. He can take a punch. He can take a punch. Well, he also did a boxing. Maybe he'll Homer Simpson him and just tire him out. Just tire him. Yeah. I feel like we could all get on board of, to determine the head of a political party, there has to be some kind of, you know... Physical contest? Ladder match for prime minister. Just have the documents in a... Yep, in a briefcase up at the top of the Hell in the cell. That'd be amazing. That is a thing we need. That yif porn. Oh, great. So how have you been, Duncan? I bet it's the same as every week when I ask, when you go, I play Grand Theft Auto, and also I did nothing else because God has forsaken me. Did, did, I, did I do it? Did I do it right? I mean, I haven't really been able, able to play Grand Theft Auto that much. Well, no, but no. we don't typically talk... Well, I guess we've talked about work some... What? Yeah, no, it's pretty much just work, take care of my child. Oh, I saw the the the, the Kingsman. Oh, you was was there more butt stuff? No, none, none nudes. No nudes. But keep him with the trend, and this is, isn't a spoiler; it's in the trailer. Uh, of uh, disabled villains. Okay. The first girl had no legs. Yes. Uh new one has one arm. But, but, it's got a robot arm. That's really kind of... It's a little, yeah. Like, maybe start with the one-eyed arm villain and then move down to the... no. It, it, it was a step down. Double prosthesis. But, like... I thought you were going to say, just quadriplegic. But they, they kept with the... I assume you saw the first one? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately. I, I think it's fun. I think they're fun movies. Uh, love it or hate it, Samuel Jackson is a good villain just because he's different. Yes. They keep with that. The villain is different. Okay. So I, I appreciated that. The real villain is like Martha Stewart, basically. And she hasn't... She's done bad things, but she's wanting to do a good thing. And then, I don't know. It's a, It's not as good as the first one. Okay. It was a good watch, but literally... So that church fight scene in the first one, yeah, it's fucking fantastic, and they're like, "What if the whole movie was that?" Which really waters down yeah. how good an action scene is if they're all trying to be that. And uh, so, no action scene is ever played at real time. They're either sped up to look cool or slowed down to be dramatic. Uh, it's really off-putting. But hey, there's going to be a third one because, of course, it does well. So. Let's start milking franchises again. Fuck you. I, I almost called him Vince Vaughn. Uh, I don't remember the guy who made it. Something Vaughn. Yeah. But he infamously Wait. doesn't make sequels. And now he's making two. Is there any actual, like, espionage work? Or is it just fight? It's pretty much just fight. Like, if I want to go see a secret agent espionage movie i want espionage i want i want sneaking around well like i want like it, i want metal gear solid kind of espionage i don't remember like i don't think the first one really had any either but the first one like kind of is mostly an origin story like most of the movies them training and everything yeah. so it kind of gets a free pass no this movie was literally just 
fight. Everyone liked that one fight scene. Let's make the whole movie that fight scene. So there's very little... There's really no spying. Like, if there is any gunplay in the Metal Gear Solid movie, I don't think I'll watch it. Depends where they go. If they do three, you need it. No. Total stealth run. European extreme. <laughs> Can't no. be spotted. Well, well, okay. You know, t- tangent onto that, because there is a guy currently on paper doing a Metal Gear Solid movie. Yeah. He's the guy who did uh, Kong Skull Island. Yeah. He, he, he's uh, pretty funny. Um, he's a funny guy, and he, and he, most importantly, is a fan of Metal Gear. Yeah, and um, what was it? You've never seen, uh, what is it, Cinnamon, Cinema Sins? I mean, I have. I, yeah. I don't watch it. Yeah, well, uh, it was it Cinnamon Sins or Everything Wrong With? Cin- I don't know, Screen Junkies. Cinnamon Sins? Cinnamon Sins. <laughs> anyway, Screen Junkies had him on. And that he basically to tear apart his own movie. And at one point, he's like, "That boat had too many helicopters." Like one of the big criticisms was there were too like there weren't enough helicopters on the boat for how many helicopters were in because a ton of helicopters got destroyed. Yeah, and he's like. Helicopters? That's what you hone in on? <laughs> the boat's made out of helicopters. There's three helicopters on this part. There's a helicopter in back of it. The boat's a helicopter. I'm, I might have to watch that. It's it's pretty good. Now, I'm, I'm a little bummed because it sounds like his Metal Gear movie will be the first game. Which... Zan- was that Zanzibar Land? Yeah. Or... It, yes. Well, because gotta have Cyborg Ninja. Yeah, Grey Fox. But... That, that's not my snake. My snake is Naked Snake. Will always be Naked Snake. Which is why I really hate all the awesome merch that Five got. Because knowing how that game ends, I'm like, that's literally not my snake. So no, I can't I can't in good conscience buy Metal Gear 5 merch. Because I don't care about Venom Snake. Now him getting a new name makes sense. Yes, I'm upset about a plot twist from two years ago. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, spoilers, because it's this month's PlayStation Plus game. Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh. Which, I mean, if you haven't played it, solid pickup yeah. for free. I mean, you'd be doing yourself a disservice where it is free. Yeah. If you had to pay any money for it, I wouldn't. Uh. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't. I just wouldn't pay full price for it. No. Knowing what I know now, and... I don't know, the game... I look back on it pretty negatively, but I enjoyed playing it. Yeah. So it's fine. But Kong, we're all big boss. It's it's fine. (laughs) It's fine. You get to punch a 12-year-old. God. That really should have ended... Just at the burial scene. Like, that game should have ended at the sea burial scene. Uh, nah. Nah, it should have ended where it was supposed to end that got cut. Oh, you mean with you going to that unnamed island and facing and, and Eli fight. against the, uh... The, the Sahalanthropus? Which would have been a little anticlimactic because you already fought it once. You know. And then, like, what was it? The virus kind of takes o like, kind of has a f- or not All like right, the virus? Re- the PTSD. Kinda Real talk. Kicks in. Let's talk about porn for a minute. It's related. Okay. Walk with me. <laughs> Take my hat. Now, have you ever read read a comic or, or some kind of fan video? A porn of an existing property. Like... Anything. Okay, give me an example. Well, I'm gonna talk about a porn thing I saw related to Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh, so kind of like what 
what uh, they did with Overwatch. Yeah, I guess that would count. Like a porn video, like yeah. No, that that would count. It, it does it bother you when they when they don't follow the lore? When you're like that doesn't you can't do that. So so I saw this clip of Snake having sex with Quiet. Yeah. And she was making sounds. And I'm like, you can't do that! She can she, technically talk. He died. That's why she doesn't speak. Well, she can't speak English. Like, she can speak... Well, well uh, yeah. Fuck, what was that? The people's language. I will call O an English word. I don't care. I mean, I kind of just a sound, but... Yeah. It is an O is an English word. Kind of. I don't know, I can't remember. Like, when she was talking with Code Docker. No, was it she couldn't speak English, or was it she could only speak... Oh, if she spoke English, the virus would become active. I thought that's what it was. It's either she couldn't speak... No, no, it's definitely she could only speak that one language. Because... Someone on that boat would know something other than English. So yeah. it could... It's she can't speak, period, other than Navajo or whatever, Nav- he, yeah, whatever he spoke. Yeah, I can't remember what, what it was exactly. But yeah, no, if she spoke English, the virus would become active, and everyone who spoke English, which was everyone on that, on Mother Base, would get sick again. Yeah, so when, I, when I'm watching her get railed, I'm just listening to her kill all the Mother Base. <laughs> it's really, like, I can't, can't get off to that. I mean... Maybe if she just says, oh, quiet enough, as Big Boss is just laying into her. In, and also, Big Boss didn't have his robot hand. It was like, what are you doing? Put some effort into it. Now, was it Venom? Or was it Big Boss? I, I mean, nothing in 5 because is Big Boss. So... Because... The assumption would be it's supposed to be Venom. They just were lazy and didn't give well, him a robot if hand. it is Venom, he'd have the arm. If it wasn't Venom... Could you imagine fisting someone with a rocket punch? I can't imagine fisting people. Okay, so I, I messaged you about like this at fuck. work the other day. Like, look, look, trying to get that... I've been on a... not, Not purposely, just multiple things I've listened to from various people over various days i've heard a lot about fisting this week is it uh, is it putting subliminal messaging in here no cuz i no i suppose it's not sublim- nothing are they blat- is, is are you blatantly thinking you're going to try fisting someone no cuz it disgusts me yeah this inside someone like you know I, you know you scroll through cuz you know the internet's a dirty place. Even if you're not looking for porn, you're gonna you're find gonna porn. You're gonna find it. And I've seen, like, little tiny thumbnails of just a forearm missing, and I throw up. <laughs> Is it worse than, uh, your thing with dislocated limbs? Dislocated and compound uh, fractures? No. Because I'll have flashbacks of a bad lag break, but I, I don't ever... I don't ever shudder sitting at work going, oh, fisting. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I, I, I listened to, and it was kind of interesting because I listened to an interview with a girl who liked it. And she really didn't give me a good answer. Holy shit. Are, are you looking up fisting? No, um, Edmonton terror attacks. Oh, yeah, no, that's old news. Oh, really? By old, I mean I, I read it earlier today. Uh, I, I literally know nothing about it. Give us the breaking news, Duncan. Breaking! Edmonton terrorist attack, and that's all I can say because Duncan has the article open. Actually, I fucking. God damn it! Holy shit! Marilyn Manson crushed by falling prop during. Now that is old cons- news. <laughs> that's a few 15 days. 15 hours? No, it was like yesterday or the day before. Yeah, yesterday. That's, 15 that's hours. That's not breaking news. Actually, I think the Edmonton thing was technically yesterday, too. So. Hmm. 
Uh, Richard Branson publishes scathing letter from for I don't know. Fuck. Okay. Yep. So uh, a guy ran a truck into a bunch of people and then stabbed a cop. Jesus. Ooh, there's a video. Yep. I'm gonna not watch that this time. <laughs> I made the mistake last time. Mm hmm. Uh, when that uh, that uh, Nazi fuck? No, the the murder on Facebook Live. Oh yeah, I watched that. I oh. re- I shouldn't have. That that poor old man got shot right in the head. That was fucked up. I think part part of me and I, I mean it wasn't as bad as that. Again, I'm going back to that video that you showed me that when we were working together at Burning, Atlantica, burning Witches. Burning Witches in South Africa. And just watching these priests throw these still still alive people onto the burning pyres and then them just screaming. Yeah, I don't know. I can... I think when I see it in video format, I can disassociate with it being real. Yeah, no. Right up until the screaming started, I was like, this isn't real. And then the screaming started, and I was like, this is happening. But then, like, I've heard people talk about, like, uh, there's an internet thing called The Gauntlet. Okay. Where it's, like, just really fucked up shit. Yeah. And just people describing the videos, I feel sick. (laughs) I was gonna say that there's something to... Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say one of the videos but I forgot that's that's part of Human Centipede 2 <clears throat> it's not part of the gauntlet it was not a real baby killed uh, if I recall uh, a baby gets stuck under uh, a gas pedal of a car and then they squish it watch Human Centipede 2 everybody movie opens with a guy jerking his dick off of sandpaper that what opens. I, I mean... That's a strong open. I mean, what kind of grit is it? I don't know. I didn't see the movie. 60 grit? 40 grit? Any is too much. Well... Duncan, if I do a hard day of shoveling and get a blister jerking off as a fucking chore. I mean, 120 grit. Not that bad. I don't even know what that means. I think, from what I can remember, I think the higher the grit number... The, the more, more bumps, f- the more fine it is. You get down around forty. Ooh, two, two grit, two grit. It's really just a piece of it's tape just... with spikes on it. <laughs> well, at forty, it's just like you know how you get that nice sand. That would be like one twenty grit. That nice fine sand that you like. That people are always like, this is a nice, just the nicest beach. Then when you go, like, then go to a beach in New Brunswick. Not one of the nice beaches. Like, say one of the ones in Grand Bay. Mm -hmm. Or by my place. And how it's just those little pebbles. That would be like 40 grit. Okay, so. Except. If if given the choice between. Gun to your head. Gun to my head. And you. We're still in Woolies bits now. Yep. Someone has to jerk you off, and you can't do this because if you're in control, I think there's I an easier choice yeah. here. I'm not going to do it as hard. Exactly. Someone jerk you off with sandpaper? Like, like a... We'll say 80. We'll go right in the middle. Steel wool. I was going to say, what about steel wool? <laughs> think I would rather go with the 80 grit uh, sandpaper rather than the steel wool because the problem with steel wool is it'll slice like sandpaper will slice you up but it, it'll like slice you up in, in a friction burn sense yes. steel wool's gonna just slice you just slice you right open yeah but then you get a meal I'm not a cannibal would you try it? No. There are too many... There are too... Physically, there are many... A- 
advantageous things that come along with cannibalism. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just it only gets fucky if you eat the brain? No. Any part of the flesh. Okay, so let's eat Any part of the flesh. Organ. Um, Organ spine? No. Damn. Because the one upside to cannibalism in humans is that you get rid of human diseases. And like Ric Flair's taught us, you steal their soul. Yes. So, our stomach ass, like, say someone's sick, and you just have this person, okay, you're the designated cannibal, eat this person's, eat this person, eat this person, it'll get rid of the disease because the stomach acids can destroy that disease, somehow. Yes. However, mentally there's something, there's something called Prawn's disease. Right. Where if you consume any form of human flesh, it'll fuck with your DNA and eventually lead to uh But that's not slurred imme- speech. That's not immediate, I don't imagine. There's gotta be like an amount you could eat. Well, the thing safely. is human society is has been found to uh actually cannibalism has been prevalent throughout human society for for millennia. Because it turns out that some people uh, have this gene that protects them from prawns disease. So that would suggest that this gene developed over time and people being constantly eating uh, human flesh. Google, how much human beings can I eat before getting prawns disease? Jesus. You don't have Siri. No, I have an Android. <laughs> oh, it's just telling. Uh, it's a shrimp. No, not those prawns. But all right. Okay. As- so yes, as- assuming physically, we won't go overboard. We'll say like just a just a slice, just like a no. I will not consume human flesh. Oh, you're boring. I totally would. I know I would. If 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 Mario Batali himself walked in, was like, "Hey, Colin," and I really should have said Guy Fieri because I know way more of how he speaks because Mario Batali is a relatively normal human being. Guy Fieri is a nice guy. He seems nice, but Mario Batali doesn't say things like Flavor Town. Yeah, but to be fair, he only said that as kind of like a one-off thing, and then completely forgot about it. And then it wasn't until people were like, Flavor Town! And he was like, what? Own it. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, that's kind of redeeming. That redeems him in my heart, because he didn't even know he was making a catchphrase. That's true, but as someone who has watched hundreds, probably, of episodes of uh, Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, he just talks weird. Yeah, he just says things. Like, could you... It would be like, it would be like, oh, Colin, outside baseball. Wait, no, yeah. It, and it, then you just sit there and just, that's your catchphrase now. It's like, well, I guess that's my catchphrase. If, if someone could cut me up a piece of human flesh cooked properly, I can't not try it. I can't not. The only place I draw the line is cats. I'll eat a dog. Fuck a dog, I don't care. I won't eat cat. I'll eat lion, but not like a, a, a house cat. Got to draw a line somewhere. W- where's your draw- line drawn? Because it's clearly before people. It's clearly before people. Well, well, you, you eat the, the normal stuff. Yeah. You know, cows, pigs, chickens. Mmm, picking. Pick. Pickens. Pigs I've scaled back on. Yeah, I'm, but you're still eating them. Like, no, I'm not I'm not a huge pork I, guy. I won't eat. If I have the option to not eat pork or any sort of... Uh, but is that because you don't like it? I hate... Well, yeah, see, I... I, I hate eating pig. I... F- but is it you hate eating pig because you, like, you think pigs are cute or because you think pork is disgusting? I think pork is disgusting. See, no, see, that's fine. Your moral line, morally, you're fine with eating pigs. It's just you don't care for the meat. I'm, I'm pretty similar. I, I don't care for pork either. I'm pretty much exclusively chicken. Yeah. 
Occasionally turkey. I'll tend to avoid turkey. I just don't like turkey. Turkey bacon? Way better than normal bacon. By the way, I'm going to start a new side <laughs> series called Colin's Controversial Opinions. Episode 1, Turkey Bacon? No, because... Dad... When Dad was, like, getting... Like, there was a point where Dad, like, had hyper, hyper or hypothyroidism, depending on, you know, how his thyroid was acting up. So he was like, okay, I guess I gotta eat somewhat better. So he starts... Instead of getting regular bacon, we start getting turkey bacon. And so... For like 10 years of my life, that's all we ever had. And every time my friends would come over and they'd be like, Hey, I'm going to go uh, look through your... I'm going to go get something to eat. Is that okay? I'm just, sure. Just go up and help yourself. And I'm like, what the fuck is that, Duncan? And I'm like, what? It's bacon. It's like, that is not bacon. It's like, yeah, it's turkey bacon. And they'd be like, is your family Okay. I, I would like. Am I gonna have to drink Kool Aid? Okay, uh, actually, okay. Uh, you know an animal's actually really good, and I do buy occasionally. Llama. I can't eat llama. It's, it's try it. You'll like, change your mind. Like I know llamas are like the bastards of just the pack animal family. They're no alpaca. Alpacas are like saintly angels sure L llamas will spit in your face as far as I, I remember that llamas they were anytime we went to the St. John Zoo they had a llama exhibit and they're like don't get too close to the llamas they will spit at you good and then I don't remember like I don't remember ever anyone ever saying a bad thing about alpaca no did you eat horse? No. I wouldn't eat a horse because they're fucking dumb and I don't want to eat dumb. I heard it's fantastic protein. That's lovely. They should be all put down. I, I don't disagree. I mean, they should be punched in the head. They are the dumb... When you have an animal that just is so dumb, it latches itself to a post and then just start sucking and sucking and sucking to the point where it can't get itself off the post and the ranch owner or whoever owns the horse has to call a vet to puncture its lung and let the air out so it can finally let itself off the post. That animal's fucking dumb. Now, I, I have... I would say above average experience with horses... As I have ridden them, which is probably more than most people have done. I don't think they're all that stupid. However, I do think they're very funny looking. What about, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Seal? Yeah, would you eat a seal? I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would. I, I don't care for fatty meat. Yeah. And I imagine that's nothing but... I mean, I've eaten musk ox, I've eaten moose, I've eaten deer. Um, moose was probably my favorite. Because it was very rare. Like, to the point where I bit into it, and blood just dripped from my mouth down my chin and all over my white work shirt. And I was just kind of sitting there going like, Daryl... Could you maybe have cooked these a little more? And he's like, oh, don't worry about it, Duncan. You'll have a hard-on for weeks after this. Did you? I mean, it was the height of... It was... Well, I the can't, height of rutten season? I think it was rut, rutten season. So, no. I, I, I don't think it did much for me. I, I don't imagine it does much for anybody. I, I think it's just one of those things where it's like, oh... Moose meat, in the height of rutten season, it'll just give you a hard on a cat couldn't climb. And I just sat there going like, I have blood all over me. I ruined a perfectly good work shirt. Now I gotta walk around and go out and see 
the office ladies with just looking like I ate like an ant like looking like I killed and ate an, a moose just in the back of the shop that's fine they just know when it's their time of the month that you're a good sport I just something that too I was gonna say to my knowledge I've never done I'm like I don't think that one could sneak by you I think you'd know hmm it's fine it's fine we haven't even got to the news Duncan Oh? There's so many news, because we didn't do it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, Spirals, tier zero, question mark. What? I'm not, I'm not faking <laughs> confusion. I don't know what you're talking about. It's Yu-Gi-Oh, don't worry about oh, it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, well, we got... Uh, Zone of the Enders coming back. Yeah. Okay. That looks pretty neat. Zone of the Enders second runner remaster. Uh, now, this is going to be for VR too, right? Or I, is it just single player? I don't know if it's VR exclusive. I don't imagine it is. It'd be a very okay. dumb decision. Because I know uh, that Eve game. Eve Valkyrie? Eve Valkyrie. That was VR, but is apparently getting a non-VR version. I... I don't think that's because no one bought it in VR. I think it's because people just naturally have stopped playing. So they're introducing a way for more people to come back. Yeah, because not everyone has Because Because I did play a little bit of it. The game made me sick, but you're also supposed to play sitting down, which I did not. Uh, which I learned makes a pretty big difference. Yeah. Uh, so as much as our love for mechs and our love for... Uh, Kojima. Yeah. I know literally nothing about Zone of the Enders. So, I'm excited. I will yeah. I will probably it, it, pick this when up. When I picked up the uh, re-release for the PlayStation 3, it was a good time. It w the uh, combat didn't... Like... The combat was kind of limited, I found. That was my only... Kinda, yeah, it's a PS2 game. Yeah. I remember for years I thought Zone of the Enders and Xeno Saga were the same thing. Xeno Saga. I just I can picture the box art. Xeno Saga. Maybe Xeno Gear. No. Xeno no. Gears. Okay. Yes. Because uh, Xeno Saga is relatively new. Yeah. Xeno Gears th th two. Um. Oh yes, that's the one with the blue-haired robot girl. Yeah. Yes. She was in Soul Calibur. Or her costume. Yeah, that's the cool. box art I yeah. know. Uh, that was a turn-based RPG, RPG, or kind of, I think it, it was an RPG. Yeah, but Max Japan and weirdly German, so you could see how someone who's not played either would confuse the two. Yeah. Um, Zoe was Zone of Enders was uh I don't know it was a fun game. The combat was limited. Um, the main. The first game, the main little boy character was kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Well, that's why they're... Well, I'm told that the first one is, like, even a fans is, like, not good. Yeah. Which is why they're remastering the second one first. Good. Because uh, apparently it's not related Now, enough. is this going to be, like, a remaster from the ground up? Well, uh, the of course, I already deleted everything I wrote down about it. Because we were talking about it. But, uh... I saw footage of it. It doesn't look like a PS2 game, but it certainly is not uh, like a, a Crash Insane Trilogy level yeah. redo. It it looks like a PS3 game. Okay. Well, I mean, the PS3 remaster looked like a PS2 game. Okay, so it's a, it's a step up from it's that. A, yeah, it's a step up from that. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, I those know, cockpits, though. Uh, I know you don't care about this because you mentioned that you have never played literal cockpits. Yeah, okay. I think I mentioned this to you. Playing that game in VR will be odd. Oh yeah, being in the cock, the, the cock. Just I don't know. It's a neat place. To, like it makes more sense than to have a mech and then have to go all the way up to the chest and or head. This require this. You're just going up to the cop. You're like you're just going up to the hips. I uh, I don't know. 
I think they just wanted it to be different. Yeah. Honestly. Um, I mean, old now, but Final Fantasy IX was announced and came out the same. They announced it. Hey, it's on PS4. Oh, uh, when? Uh, now. Now. Yeah. Which, big fan of those announcements. Yeah. Uh, big fan of Final Fantasy. Like when Fantasy. a game just comes out, that's... And no one's expecting it. Uh, I, know, I know you've never played it. But I have never played 9. I've played 10. 9 is... I can never pick a favorite. My favorite's down between three of them, and I would say nine is in that group of three. Um, well, I have played Final Fantasy thirteen, but I don't consider that an actual Final Fantasy. No, I, I would. It, it, but it, it, but it's not a traditional Final Fantasy game. No, but none like, of it, them it, are. It, it, I know, but. I mean, like, turn-based characters, summons. Like, there are summons, I think, in uh, the MMOs. But, I mean, like, an actual story that you don't build a character. I don't know. Are, are you telling me we've just picked our new playthrough, Duncan? What? Final Fantasy X or...? Nine. If you know what you're doing, you can beat it in, like, 13 hours. If you don't, looking at, like, 80. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> Because uh, to get one of the best weapons in the game, you have to get to almost the end in 12 hours. Or, That's not or, or less. That's not happening. Yeah, it's a really bullshit way to lock a weapon. Yeah. Because like, even knowing the game pretty well, that's not easy. But I haven't bought it yet, but I probably will. Uh, Monster Hunter World got a release date. And that's fucking awesome. Um, that's for the PlayStation. It's, and it's Xbox. for it's for the everything. It's for the it's coming except out for the Switch because of duh. Lim- yeah. Um, I'm super excited. Me too. I've never gave I've two shits about Monster Hunter. Played one Monster Hunter. It was on my friend's Vita or PSP, and it was a great time. Like I sat that like. I did a victory lap in high school, so um, I was picking up my math three and trigonometry in three space because I fucking failed grade nine math, and then after that, they're like, okay, well, you tried real hard, Duncan. Here you go. You can pass math this year, uh-uh. and I was like, fuck off. Anyway, so my victory lap basically consisted of me going to two classes, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and the rest of the time was just spent sitting around twiddling my thumbs. Playing Monster Hunter. In the art room storage closet because our art teacher had basically two storage rooms. One was much bigger than the other and he'd have all the AP art students in there. And I just kind of sit there draw, and then one of my friends was like, "Yeah, no, I got Monster Hunter," and I was like, "Oh, can I give it a try?" And then it basically got to the point where I was like, "Hey, you're going to physics class next. Can I have Monster Hunter? I need, I need it." Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, now I have uh some experience with Monster Hunter, and the only reason why there's two reasons why I'm willing to uh, three three reasons why I'm willing to give this one a shot. One. The trailer legitimately yeah. interested me. I'm like, that looks fun. Uh, two, the only game I have played is uh, the MMO, which by people who like Monster Hunter, by all accounts say, is terrible. So I originally judged the series off my experience with the MMO and was like, I don't there see... There was the monster. Yeah, there was an MMO. When? Uh, like 2011, probably. I suppose 2011. I would have been. I would have been deep into WoW. Uh, and that was deep into my uh, play, like a different MMO every couple weeks. So, yeah. found some real garbage. Oh yeah, you did. Uh, in, in three, it seems like an online focused game that I actually have some people to probably play with. Yeah. So, and that doesn't happen often. Uh. My whole team at work was planning, like, play dates. So I'll play Divinity 2 together. Yeah. But my PC can't run shit. Yeah. No, so, that's, so re- I, that's I really upsetting. Because there are a bunch of people at work that all play Overwatch on the PC. And I just sit there going, like, I want to play Overwatch on the PC, too. 
And then it's just like that piece of fucking trash. I, I mean, I, I don't care that much, but I only cared because like I really want to play Divinity 2. But I guess the first one's on console, so like maybe I'll play that. I don't know. But I heard the second one is better in every. Oh game. yeah, the better one. Like my brother and I were talking about it, and I think it was we were talking about Divinity and uh, Divinity Two and um, another one that I thought were similar. And he was like, "If you want complex, if one's more complex than the other, but the other ones, and you can do a lot more in it, but the other one's a lot more fun." I can't remember which he said, which ones he said were which, but he is Diablo Three. I wouldn't touch with the ten foot part. I almost didn't play Divinity Two because someone at work said something that just made me angry, and even knowing they were wrong. Just made me never want to touch the game. Was this... No, this is a different person. Oh, okay. Uh, this is someone I, I, I don't like. Who's <laughs> on my team. I think I told you. He said Divinity is a... Uh... No, maybe it wasn't you. I don't remember who I told He said uh, Divinity is basically like Fire Emblem, but a little more complicated. I'm like, no. No, by that definition, everything is Fire Emblem, but a little more complicated. I was going to say, that's the worst description of <laughs> any kind of game. I was like, Fighting games are like Fire Emblem, but, but a little more complicated. complicated. Uh, oh, right, because I didn't say uh, January 26th uh, is Monster Hunter, which is pretty soon. Yeah. Honestly. But speaking of soon, I found out that uh, I, I thought it was still another month or two away. South Park, Fractured Butthole, comes out in two weeks. Yeah. Which, like, cool, because I bought it a year and a half ago. So I, I may or may not have a coon statue <laughs> on my desk soon, because I bought the collector's edition. Um, would it be the, the new WWE game that's coming out? We've Shh. talked about this. I, I don't I know. know. I know. I know. Is it... 2K18 or 2K17? It would be 2K18. Okay, 2K18. They, they always work a year, a year ahead. Fucking Oscar. Oscar Colin. I have never been interested in a wrestling game until this one that comes out this month and it's got Oscar in it. But you won't play it. But I want it because it has Oscar. in it. But I imagine, like all of them, it's probably jank. It's probably jank, but it's got Oscar. Eh. It's fine. I have never been so in... Marcellus Black, Brendan Williams. Mm -hmm. um, King of Strong Style. I can't remember what his name is because it's very Japanese. That guy you showed me? Yeah, who comes down... And with the fiddle, with with the fiddle, and he's just all over the place with these big gesticulations, and then pretty much climaxes in the ring. Uh, the the only thing uh, I can relate uh, recently to uh, WWE is uh, someone actually pulled off a, the the walls of Jericho in an MMA match using a WWE move. That is totally fake bullshit in a real fight, and winning with it was the most amazing <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. Let anime is real. Anime is real, and it's in the W. <laughs> it's in Mr. Martial Arts. It's in WWE, and to see like posters with anime characters on it that I can recognize just fills my heart with so much joy. Vince McMahon's gonna die soon. There was like a video clip of him getting uh, clotheslined pretty recently. Yeah. And he's like 72. Yeah. Like, you can't be taking those kind of falls. Yep. You're 72. Uh, what, what, what else we got here? Oh, the game that... You know, a lot of things, if they don't matter a huge amount, I just say, fuck it, I'll wait for the podcast. This one I told you immediately, because this one is on paper... Fucking amazing. It's, uh... <clears throat> you get, uh... I'll use names, because... 
It'll keep it hidden longer. You, you gonna die? Yeah, maybe. Uh, got Jesus. Toshifumi Nebishima, which means nothing to anybody. Got Tayuki Yanase, which means nothing to anybody. And Yoji Shinkawa, all making an armored core game. Wow! Oh! Is it uh, last no, left alive? Left alive, yes. Which is confirmed to be in the armored core universe. Oh my god! So we get the art. Uh, so Nebushima uh, is a guy known for making all the other uh, yeah. armored core games. Yoji Shinkawa, everyone knows who he is. Dark. And, and yeah. Yanase is the mech designer for Metal Gear Solid yeah. uh, Gundam Double Zero. Double lot. Double lot. Just to piss people off mm -hmm. because everyone's like double zero, and I'm like, no, double uh, lot. Ghost in the Shell Arise, which I don't know what that is. Yep. And uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. So, like, oh that's, my, oh if you're God. talking about a mech designer, oh. that's a good oh, resume. The pedigree. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Now, I think it's. Th there was a snippet. I do mean yeah. quite literally a snippet of gameplay. Well, there was that trailer where the door gets blown off, and then it kind of pans into the room like it's coming down this w this hallway and you hear this kind of soft melodic i don't know what song's playing but um and then you just see the whole door gets blown out of the fucking wall and it the camera pauses for a few minutes and then starts to move forward and then trucks into the room and you just see this hellscape of mechs mortar like artillery fire and explosions and the sounds of gunshots and heavy machine the, the helicopters i don't know if helicopters actually fly by with mechs on but i'm just sitting there at my desk at worst just going like oh oh god yes now, now the the one tiny bit of gameplay that they showed w was you were a dude yeah and you were running the fuck but away if i had to guess they this game is gonna be like uh lost planet where, like, it's totally a third-person shooter, but yeah. then you will have a mech. Yeah. Because these Pla people involved, there's no way you can't not have a mech. Lost Planet 1, I enjoyed. I thought 2 was pretty um, good. Um, it kind of, like, up until that point in time, I think Rocket Launchers felt, like, previous, like, building up to that, the point of its release, Rocket Launchers and video in first-person shooters were fucking awful. You know, I've heard the sentiment. I don't. I don't know yeah. if I've, I agree because I just and don't then remember. when it came out, rocket launchers. When they hit some, when a rocket hit something that you fired, it felt meaty. It looked like there was impact. It things, and there was a huge explosion, and it looked real nice. I think Lost Planet. This is my opinion, and it's totally right. But Lost Planet Two brought back the lock, the rocket launcher. Sure, I, I. Or not Lost Planet Two, Lost Planet, because Lost Planet Two, at that point was like, what are you guys doing? Like, because they had like several different stories happening all at the same time, and then it coalesced into one story at the end where these like Mad Max rejects were like drifting on a huge rail based rail gun like rail like train based rail rail gun going at like ludicrous speeds and drifting around with it so safe to say you're pro oh, you're kind of excited to yeah. see more I, I, I am too uh, now one thing I don't know if I am excited to see more is I, something I don't know if you even watched and honestly, I think the buzz is already dead for it, which, like, for something that's only, like, a week old is not good. Did you watch the Tomb Raider trailer? Your, oh! Your blank expression of, I didn't even know oh, there was a Tomb Raider uh, movie coming out, is probably what most people feel. You mean Giraffe Croft? Yes. Now, someone had pointed out to me, and proved to me, that it is just the lighting yeah. in that poster that makes it look very strange. Yeah. Because if you draw over it and then, like, a shape it and remove the lighting, it looks totally normal. Yeah. Um, I can't put my finger on it, but I told someone after I watched it that if I said, if I'd never seen Laura Croft before, 
never knew anything about her. Never heard the name. Never knew it was a video game. And you showed me this trailer, I would know it's a video game. And I... I don't know how. It just looks like a video game movie. So I'm not... Thrilled? I mean, I'll always watch it, because... Nick Frost? Who? Nick Frost, isn't he in it? Sure. He Nick Frost, Simon Pegg? Right, the fat guy from yeah. all those movies. Uh, sure, probably. I, I think he's in it. it. Like, in that one little extra clip where she's got both her, like, both her guns. Uh, now... D- doing some like digging around b- because of the trailer like checking out who the cast is checking out who the director is and all that stuff i i found a- an interesting little piece of something that was the first time i had heard of this which is uh the name uh adrian uh Ascaray. okay probably means nothing to anybody but uh he said in an interview that he is currently in talk slash confirmed to be overseeing the MCU of video game movies in which all these video game movies will have a shared universe starting with Tomb Raider and then another Hitman movie a Deus Ex movie a Thief movie and a Just Cause movie they will all share the same universe, and the only one that's really odd there is Deus Ex, because I don't really see how it fits in the same timeline as any of those other movies. Because the other ones, like... Could they... all reasonably take place yes. in modern day, whereas unless they are set well into the future, Deus Ex, they, they, you can't... Unless, you pull, unless they pull a Wakanda. Yeah. Uh... So it'll be interesting to see if that goes anywhere. My my guess is that is a tentative MCU yeah. thing uh, d- based on how well Tomb Raider does. I don't imagine it does great. Um, next, uh, another director has been chosen. This is like Star a- Wars number eight, I think. Is it Star Wars? Akira. J.J. Abrams wants to do uh, Your Abrams. Name. Yeah, he does. And I think he should fall into obscurity. Because he is not a great director. I think he's a fine director, but he's... Uh, I don't know. I just don't think that movie's worth redoing. No. Like it. I mean, the actual director of it, I can't remember his name, came out and said he'd like to see where J.J. Abrams takes it. But I'm kind of sitting there going, like, no, could you not? Could you not ruin everything? Well, I mean, I've been... I mean, Hollywood, we, could you we, just calm your fucking erection for making bad fucking adaptations? We talked about it, like... I'm still sour about Ghost in a Shell. We talked about it months ago when we actually finished seeing your name. But, like, I think there's improvements to be made in that movie. Well, yeah, of course. That, like, if you change the plot, could make a better movie. So, like, if... J. Abrams did that. Maybe I'd be happier. But no, I I don't want them to change it. I'd like them to. What would you change? I I would I would change. Literally, the biggest thing I would change is change the uh, ha- how many years apart they are. I wouldn't make it three. I'd make it like fifty. So that by the time. So when they meet up. It, it's like, like it's like a Captain America meeting his eighty year old girlfriend. That shit's sad. When you're three years separate, you can still fuck. It's not that big of a deal. I, I I didn't think three was an emotional enough gap. Other than that, like really, I was just trying to nitpick the movie. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I don't know. I'm not attached to it enough to care that they're doing it again. But I agree. In you saying like, don't. Yeah, <laughs> like come up with something original. J. 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 Bums can't do that. No, he can't. I'm and not... whoever fucking direct I, that that fuck who directed the fucking Ghost in a Shell movie should be hung by his toes. I actually don't know who did that. He was the same guy who did uh, 
Snow White and the Huntsman, I think. Uh... I don't know. It was some... Like, up until that point, he had been doing, like, these artsy, fartsy, fuck-off films. I'm a pretentious cunt. My favorite. And then he did uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. And then that bombed. Well, sure. Rupert Sanders. What a cool name. Mm. Nope, I don't care about his personal life. Yeah, you're right. The only thing he's done is Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah, and then they brought him on to do uh, Ghost in a Shell. And that was a disaster. A little bit. No, there's no little bit about it. It was a fucking disgrace of a movie. You know what else was a disgrace? What? It's my first Mar- uh, martini. Okay. Terrible. I've never had a martini before. I don't. Now, maybe I had a bad one. Maybe you just had a bad bartender. So, like, I'm but willing to try to again, TV. but... Ugh. I like some flavor, like, to an extent. And, and like, I can drink if it's a if it, if it's a tasty booze. I can drink it straight. I prefer not to, because it's a good way to get shit-faced immediately. <laughs> but... And that's all it was. It was just a cup of gin yeah. with an olive in it, which I get that's what they are, but yeah. it didn't do it for me. Uh, oh, all right. I never actually said who, who is directing in line, in, you know, said to be directing Akira. Uh, all right, I had to write his name down because I always, I know who he is, but I always say his name wrong because he has a weird name. Taika Watiti. Okay. Who is uh, the director uh, most famously known for a movie that isn't out yet. Uh, He is the director of Thor Ragnarok. Okay. But he has also done some movies that are like personal favorites of mine. Like uh, Hunt for the Wilder People and uh, that other big movie, What We Do in the Shadows. Uh, He's a funny dude. Yeah, What We Do in the Shadows wasn't bad. Uh... To me, he's done nothing that would make me think a he Kira. could do Akira. Yeah. But, so, I was listening to people talk about this, and I was glad because I wouldn't have known how to dig around to find this info. But, I guess the reason why they're so set on making this fucking movie is because they paid bank for yeah. the rights, which makes sense. But then I heard it's only seven figures... Which means it's no more, it's less than $10 million, which as far as film budgets go, is nothing. I say just fucking eat that cost and don't make the movie. Yeah. For, when we're talking about a big studio, because it's WB and Legendary, I think, that like co-bought it. Okay. Fucking eat it. $10 million to those guys is nothing. But I mean, still, they'd like to make something off of it. Sell it. Sell it would probably be your best bet, yeah. Tell it to someone who, like, we could maybe trust. Well, I mean, Legendary could... <sighs> Legendary lie. could. Like, if there's a k- studio out there that I'd go, like, maybe them, I guess it would be Legendary. But... A little biased. Mm. Uh, hey, there was new Pokemon trailers. Mantine surfing. Neat. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I'm a little bummed that game still hasn't shown me enough. Like, to buy it? No, it's basically just going to be the same game that you already bought. Yeah. And then gave away. See, it, it kept flip-flopping. And then got uh, called out on. Yes. Which was hilarious. Uh, I was told multiple times this was, like, a proper sequel. Yeah. Not the same game? No. Like, I might have picked it up if it was, like, actually a sequel, even if it didn't really add any new Pokemon. At least it's not the exact same plot, but hearing it, it's the same game. I don't think Mantine Surfing is gonna. Well, the only other dif- the only difference is that there's going to be that whole legendary shadow Pokemon, like the shadow Pokemon and the, the legendary Pokemon are gonna fight each other. Yeah, but they look dumb. Yeah. I don't know. I was kind of hoping for something new, but I did kind of enjoy Alola. 
No, I, I did too. I, I had a, I had a I, good time. As much as I bashed the whole no gyms, what the fuck kind of casual bullshit is this? They I didn't sell that of... well on paper because, like, when you got there, the trials were pretty much gyms. Yeah. <laughs> there were a lot. I don't know. I found they were a lot more interesting because, I mean, there were like, there was a, what's the word I'm looking for? There was a, like, there were puzzles you had to do they made they made the gyms feel a lot more involved i think it wasn't just fight everyone and then leave um then the i guess the the faster story is like unfortunately but like also not a big surprise volition laid off a ton of people because nobody bought agents of mayhem i think everyone was kind of hoping for a uh, saints row game and then when they didn't give us a saints row game everyone was like well i'm not gonna play it then see i got what i wanted which was just a a third like a fun themed third person shooter which that's cool but from seeing it played like it's kind of janky yeah like it's a cool everything but execution uh I mean, it's a shame that that many people got laid off, but... I mean, it's, it's only 30 people. But... Yeah, but that's kind of what happens when a game comes to it. When a game is released and then there's no follow-up planned, it's someone's going to get laid off. Yeah. It's like, in our industry, when a show ends, they're not just going to keep us on. They might... Well, they've gotten better about it. Well, it, basically, if there's nothing lined up, they yeah. wouldn't keep you on. No, they wouldn't keep you on. Uh... And let's a- end the news with uh, talking about some PUBG. Hot, hot topic. So, again, let's, you know. Is this going to be about how yep. the company that developed it was like no one else can do? Uh... Pretty much. And then, like, no one else can steal our idea, and then you're like. Oh, no one else can steal the Battle Royale yeah, they, idea. So, so Battle Royale. Battle <laughs> Royale. They, they basically threatened... I mean, their exact words were farther action, but basically yeah. they threatened to sue Epic Games. Yes. Which is a weird person to sue. Sue, because they developed the, the engine, engine that, that the game is blue, made on. Them. Blue Hole, was it? Yes, Blue Hole. And they're like, you can't make it. Because we're using your engine, and blah blah blah. And now I found out recently because that Fortnite Fortnite's was... Battle Royale, yeah, is totally free. Yeah, so I might try it just I for mean, something to do for a free. It's and it's not just the Battle Royale, is it? It's the, isn't it the full game? I don't know if the full game is. I could only see okay. the Battle Royale thing, but but I mean, if it's the full, if it's just the Battle Royale, that and what. Player PUBG PUBG Pub Pub I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it Pub I mean you should Because player The internet I'm... refuses to acknowledge that Battleground is one word Yeah Grammar Fuckheads Um Why would I pay money When the cow's free Well and also I'm pretty anti-timed exclusive Yeah Which is why like you know, vote with your wallet. I told m- multiple people that as much as I enjoyed uh, uh, Tomb Raider, that because the next one was timed exclusive, I refused to buy it even when it eventually made it its way to PS4 and PC. Yeah. So I didn't buy it. And this is no different. PUBG's PC... It's a, it's a little different when something goes on PC first and then comes to console simultaneously only because... It's usually not a timed exclusive. It's usually a uh, when we launched the game, we didn't know it would be a success, so we didn't know we could afford to port it. Yeah. So that's a little different. But this is clearly Microsoft paid them to bring it to Xbox and have also paid them to say it's not coming to PS4, which by all accounts it is. It's just they're not allowed to say it legally, apparently. Yeah. Uh, well. But yeah, that that's dumb. But... When I have all the lollipops, fuck anyone else who wants to share. When you... Once you do a genre right, you basically own that genre. And it's kind of unfortunate. Like, 
no matter how different some games are, if you're a four-player brawler, you're going to be called a Smash clone. Yeah. Doesn't matter what your roster is. Doesn't matter how differently the mechanics actually work. Which, like... I play I like I put some time into the terribly named Sony PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. That game is nothing like Smash Brothers. It's much worse. <laughs> and I don't think anyone would disagree, but it's still fun and it's definitely not Smash Brothers. If the only thing I can possibly think of it'd be like saying Diddy Kong Racing is a clone of Mario Kart. Yeah, I think most people would agree with that. Yeah. Which is but yeah. a clone. I would prefer to play over Mario Kart. <laughs> like if Mario, if Nintendo said, "Hey, we're making another Diddy Kong game," I think that would be the first Nintendo game I would ever go out and pre-order. But like every shooters for a long time was just called like GoldenEye. Yeah. And then they were called Halo or Call of Duty, depending on if it was, you know, World War Two or the future. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's dumb, but. Yeah, them trying to sue... Now, I don't think they have a case on their hands, but they have a point on their hands, which Fortnite only made the mode because player on a battleground is popular. Well, I mean, so did Grand Theft Auto. That's true. Grand Theft Auto did it. A bunch of other games are probably going to be develop or developed with the same idea. And quite frankly, Grand Theft Auto did it. It's not great on Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Motor Wars, I think it's called. It's fucking awful. It's just so janky. But I mean, Pub is also fucking jank. Yeah. And it looks like jank. I'm sorry, I'm not wasting my time on jank. I I, I don't think anyone would disagree that it is a not a good game. It it's doesn't... just fun. Yeah, it looks fun, and that's lovely. But if it looks and runs and... If it looks like a duck and waddles like a duck, duck, it's probably a duck. <laughs> it's probably a bad fucking game, and I don't want to touch it. It just looks bad. It's not appealing in any way, shape, or form to me. No, it's not me either. And Fortnite, it looks good. Well, the different... I think Fortnite looks more appealing to me because it's that cartoony... It's not in the uncanny valley... Which is probably why games like... Which is probably why World of Warcraft is more appealing to me than Final Fantasy XIII or... Or four, 14? 15? 14. 14. 14. Or uh, a bunch of those other... Or Guild Wars. Lineage 2. Lineage 2. Um, what was that really other bad one that uh, ArenaNet put out? I don't know. There were just a bunch they put out that I was just like, this is just... City of Heroes. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> City of Villains. It's weird that those were two different games. Well, one was the expansion. Didn't know that's how that worked. Well, it was, before it was I got of, into them. It was kind of a weird expansion where it was kind of also a standalone, I think. Hmm. I can't remember if it was standalone or I assumed it was, it was a Pokemon like red and blue situation where you just picked up one of them. No. Because City of Villains came out long after City of Heroes. Uh well this is sucking my own dick, but uh fi finally. Uh not that anyone cares. I scored my first top ten in binding of Isaac. Which made me feel pretty good. You're still playing that? I play it every day. Why though? I played it for like two hours this morning. You give me shit for replaying old games. And you have replayed that God knows how many times. Well, I technically haven't beaten it yet. When, when? I, I have not 100%ed the game. Okay. I'm currently on the quest to do. But when the one item I have left to pick up is based entirely off random chance. It's been a while. Oh, you gotta you gotta pray to RN Jesus. <laughs> I, I've learned ways to like kinda R R help R help cheat it. it it's RN Jesus. RN Jesus, yeah. Uh yeah, I have 
never come up. I think even when you get the item, you then have to beat the run. Yeah. So even if I do ever find it, if I don't beat it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count, which yep. is bullshit. Yeah. But uh, I, I think I have the expansion uh, currently on its way to my house because uh, my brother bought it for me. So that'll give me more content to not to 100%. Yeah. And yes. I am fully aware I am a, a huge hypocrite. Yo. And just, I, just, and just. I'll own it till the day I die, but I'll never stop. <laughs> uh, so this might shock you. I didn't check the questions. Oh. Because, uh, uh. Probably none. Because pro probably none. Maybe we should give it a quick little check. I guess. My computer is right there. Oh, is it connected to your Wi-Fi? Oh, it is. Prob is it? Did yeah. you connect it to? Yeah, I did at one point. Oh, fuck. That's too bad. Maybe it'll screw up the, uh... The recording? The recording. Oh, I hope so. I hope this whole thing can go away. So, I, I want to say four sh... Oh. Oof. What? Oof. What? I thought we were turning over a new lead. Well, because... So, you know, do, doing doing research that I don't particularly care about. Uh, of like, hey, you should put your videos up at this time instead of this time because it'll change how many views. And uh, I started putting videos up at at three. Yeah. Instead of six a.m. And there was a noticeable bump in how many views we were getting. Yeah. However, it shockingly has not uh, gave us any subscribers. That's not shocking at all, Colin. <laughs> oh, it's ladder time. <laughs> Boy, Microsoft Edge. I questions? Questions? Nope. What a shock. Well, that's the... That's the podcast, Duncan. Do you have an anime for the children to watch? Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon? Okay, I'm going to say Digimon Try, because I started watching that. And uh, to anyone who knows what I'm talking about, Meikumon looks like a DeviantArt drawing, and it really bothers me. Who? Uh, they, well, they added a new Digi Destin uh, in Try to the original crew. And this is cool. Was, wasn't 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 that Kiori? Kiari? Kari? 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 Ty's sister? Ty's sister? Wasn't she, she the. No, she was always a Digi Destin. So there's just this new kid that they retro. Re no, 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 no. She, they, they meet her. She's not just there. All of a sudden. It's like, hi, I'm oh. Mary Sue. No, her, her, well, her, her name is May, and uh, her Digimon is May Kumon, so they all just call her Digimon May. So there's just a lot of May. Hi, I'm Mary Sue. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. Just anyone look up any art where May Kumon is standing with the rest of the gang. Because the gang looks like they were designed 20 years ago. Meikumon? Meikumon. M-E-I-C-O-O-M-O-N. She just... She looks like a fan made her. She's not consistent with the others. And it bothers me. She looks like a cat. Yes, no, she, she is a cat. That's how, it, that's how you get introduced to her. It is, it is May is like... Hey guys, have you found my cat? It's orange. And then they go around looking for a cat, and then they find it, and find out it's a Digimon. Is that is that porn? Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, even that, even her next to Gautamon, she just looks weird. Well, she... There's too much going on. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Like, Gautamon's a lot more simplified than Meikumon. Oh my god, she even looks like a fucking Mary Sue. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, me, yeah. Me. She looks plain Jane as fuck. Mm. God damn it. Stop. She's just replacing Yo Stop. Lee for me. Uh, uh, what? Cat penis. Oh, oh no. Stop. No. I don't want that. 